it's virtual graduation day i've got a little hat got this from amazon 2020 year of the pandemic where our graduations were cancelled and they're all online gutting absolutely gutted that we haven't got a proper graduation um my graduation day was my visual visualization to get me through uni every single day when i was having a tough day i saw myself at graduation throw my hat up in the air with all of my uni friends and that's what got me through so i am really gutted but i also know that there's a pandemic people are dying and this is the safest thing for us so virtual graduation for now hopefully there's going to be something in the future proper ceremony would be absolutely lovely but for now i've got my amazon hat and this this old dress you know <laughs> may as well make some sort of effort for it even though it's online so guys got a disaster vlogging disaster so as you know it was my graduation yesterday i screen recorded the whole thing however for some reason it was automatically set to re remove the audio so the whole video was muted i'd screen recorded the whole virtual graduation for everybody so everyone could see and my live reactions and it was all muted i watched it back last night because a couple of people wanted copies of it because they didn't get to watch it all and i was like yeah i've got a copy of it let me just check it and it was completely silent I'm gutted. I'm absolutely gutted. Not only has it ruined my vlog for this week and showing you all. I mean, I've got little bits, um, but now other people can't see it and oh, I'm gutted. So yeah, so the bits that I have taken, luckily I live recorded my action so you can hear some sound in the background. So I'm going to try and attach those clips to the video links that I've got and hopefully it works, guys. Never mind, here it is. So here we go. Clicked on my emails and ready to log into the graduation room. Here we are. Starts in one minute. See how this goes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, action. Connecting to room. Oh, welcome. Yes. So, it is connected to some sort of broadcast. Here we go. Conservatoire. We thought it would be a lovely thing to do to commission a brand new work to celebrate the cohort of our amazing students who are graduating this summer in these unprecedented circumstances. Whilst we may not be together physically, we are still very much together musically. And the students have approached this project with their usual fantastic combination of enthusiasm, virtuosity and open-heartedness. And I couldn't be prouder of them. So without further ado, let me introduce the Don't world the premiere online on. of Ryan Linham's The Legend of the Lockdown Leavers. I think it's a terrific piece and I hope you really enjoy it. Mm. What is this? They're all doing it from home. Go. Well, this year that isn't possible. I don't know if you can yet. see it. We will make sure you have that moment. And when we're able to hold gatherings again, okay. every single student that graduates this summer will be invited to an in-person ceremony to mark your achievement in the traditional way. Thank God. <laughs> but in the meantime, we didn't want to let this summer the moment of that achievement pass by without celebration, without fanfare. And so I'm really glad you've been able to join us from wherever in the world you might be. Because one of the things that we've learned through the last challenging months 
is that virtual events like these do give us a unique opportunity. They give us the opportunity to bring people together wherever they are physically located. He's been cut off. <laughs> The Birmingham City University, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to this celebration. It might look different to what you're imagining when you first stepped through the university doors all those years ago. Let's face it, everything looks different, doesn't it? After four months of lockdown, I had to watch YouTube video to remember how to put on my trousers. But let's make one thing clear from the start. It doesn't change the magnitude of your achievement. In fact, it makes it so much greater. What you've achieved, my friends, given everything you've had to contend with this year, is completely astounding. We are all in awe of you. Like, So first things first, and I don't care whether you're in your bedroom, your grandma's kitchen like me, or sitting in the garden with your family dog, I want you all to give yourselves a great big cheer and raise the roof. It's celebration time. Woohoo! But the only bottles of alcohol we'll be getting through today are hand sanitizer. Little tip, if you tilt it to the light, it almost looks like flaming Zambuca. Mm -hmm. You've done it, so don't be shy. Let your neighbours know all about it. Listen, man, all they've completed this year is a thousand-piece jigsaw and Tiger King. In fact, never mind raise the roof. Shout it from the rooftops. You're a graduate after all. Ready? After three, one, two, three. Hooray! Oh. Just kidding. <laughs> Each and every mm -hmm. one of you celebrating today well has shown dedication and personal mm -hmm. commitment to just be here. You stand at what is the beginning of the next chapter of your lives. You're on the first rung of a ladder, which will take you to exciting new careers and opportunities. You're ready to make a positive difference to the world around you. You, my friends, are the class of 2020. 2020, the year that will feature more mm -hmm. pop quiz questions than any other. Now, no one will ever forget you. Just by being here, you have shown that you've got what it takes to be a success, resilience, determination, a commitment to hard work, and most importantly, how to stealthily WhatsApp your mates during a Zoom lecture. Mm -hmm. And those things are going to stand you in such good stead as you embark on the next stage of your lives. Look at you all. You didn't think you'd get here. You didn't think you'd stay the distance. And you didn't think you'd make it without going insane. And that's just spending four months unable to get a kebab. Mm -hmm. But you did. And you're here, celebrating as all your hard work has paid off. Now, it's an honour for me to be here with you, joining the celebrations as you mark the beginning of your professional lives. I'm looking forward to the time when I can see your happy, smiling faces in front of me in a physical celebration, wearing those funny hats and me in the big, <laughs> fancy black and gold robes like a black Dumbledore. But until we can do that, we're going to have a great time today, behind the screen, just like we've all gotten so used to over the past few months and I know that you might not have the official cap to wear just yet. But if you've got your, a little look in your box of goodies that we sent to you, we sent you a box of goodies, there's something that will do the job for today. Now go on, get that cardboard cap out that we sent you and put it on. I'm going to do the same. I have to buy my own cap, Lenny. Let's buy my own cap, Lenny. Ring normally... Today, oh. <laughs> you're in the air, but by the time you've shown four months of it's lockdown, you will already be six feet high. Now, get a picture taken, because this is going to be a very special day. That feels so stupid. And besides, you know anybody swiping on Hinge is going to see you with a cardboard box on your head and think, yeah, I really want to know about more about that person. You should all be so very proud of yourselves, graduates of Birmingham City University. Now, normally, at this point of the ceremony, I would say something about whether you imagine this moment when you started here. But as we've already established, what you want to do with them. But you'll also have learned things about yourself. For example, I've discovered that as long as you say the new normal beforehand, you can just about get away with having cake for breakfast. Yes, you might yes. have changed your politics, <laughs> okay. your beliefs, or your ambitions. I never thought my ambitions would go from being a Marvel superhero to getting a haircut. Although in both cases, you get to wear a cape. The university's got a funny way of changing you. Because it provides you with a place to meet people from all sorts of different backgrounds. A place where your existing beliefs and values can be challenged. It's a place where you find out the type of person you're going to be. And of course, it's a place where you'll build strong and lasting relationships with some of those people from different backgrounds. Some of them will be your friends for life. Just think in 20 years, you could be sitting with your friends talking about that weird day back in 2020 when you all sat in front of a computer screen with a little paper hat on to celebrate the biggest achievement of your life today. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. No one will ever take these things from you. Well, unless you accidentally chuck the paper hat in the recycling. 
not the achievements and pride in what you've done, nor the sense of belonging you feel when you meet another BCU graduate, because your BCU journey is not ending here. You're going to be part of a community of people who are all proud of your achievements, who will support one another and cheer each other on. Hooray! Hmm. The BCU community is very special indeed. I'm proud to be part of that community, and I've spent a very happy and fulfilling four years as Chancellor here. Things were very different back then, right? In those days, you only went to a castle to get knighted. Now you drive there for an eye test. <laughs> what I find unbelievable is that Dominic Cummings only had to drive 250 miles to find somebody who likes him. <laughs> and this year, they gave me another title, y'all. Wow. That of Visiting Professor. It's Lenny Henry. This is a title yeah. which I'm equally proud to hold because it's linked to the work of the Sir Lenny Henry Centre for Media Diversity. We launched the centre right at the beginning of lockdown, but I'm really pleased to say that its work has continued we're conducting research with the ultimate aim of making sure all of society is represented across the media. I speak from experience. I spent 45 years at the BBC and I was often the only black person in the room, the only black person in the room. I was self-isolating before it was mainstream people. Hmm? Our aim is to help support a fairer, more inclusive landscape where young people from all backgrounds have no limits placed on their dreams and ambitions. I became chancellor of BCU because I believe passionately in education and the power of education to transform lives. Earlier this year, I officially opened a centre in King Standing in Birmingham <laughs> that BCU is running with a charity called Inter University. The centre is based in an area where few young people go into higher education and offers academic su support and mentoring to promote the aspirations of the young people who live there. And the day we opened the centre was brilliant, man, and it showed exactly why we need something like it. There were kids there as young as 10 or 11 who were dreaming big and have been encouraged to follow those dreams. I even met the most talented 13-year-old juggler you'll ever see who's determined to make it big in entertainment. Good luck, man. Times and unprecedented times. Mm -hmm. It's so important that we celebrate with you the achievements of our class of 2020. For our graduates, this celebration represents the culmination of all your hard work and effort, which has gone into your studies and the success you have achieved. Graduation is a tradition that most of us love to share with our family, friends and loved ones. So I ask you to make sure you have a glass of something. I have one here. I got a glass of something. Um, to raise during and at the end of this ceremony. It's important that not only do we celebrate your success, but also mm -hmm. salute I'll all those that. people who've supported, listened, cajoled and encouraged yeah. you throughout this journey of personal professional <laughs> discovery. This celebration of your success is a rite of passage from novice to expert, to quote Patricia Benner, and your transition into the profession you chose. As the class of 2020, you have experienced the transition from university to practice in the most demanding and difficult of times. Who would have thought back at the start of your journey into your nursing and midwifery careers that you would qualify and emerge into a world which was experiencing its very first pandemic? Who knew how nursing and midwif midwifery practice would have to evolve and adapt during this time? And the difficult decisions you as frontline staff would need to make at a time when the requirement to balance the needs of your profession against the needs of your family was uppermost in your minds. As Kerry Washington said in 2013, you and you alone are the only person who can live the life that can write the story you were meant to tell. We know that as BCU graduates, you are brave, courageous and unconditional. You have risen to the challenge within whatever role you have played within the NHS and the wider healthcare services. You supported the people of Birmingham and the West Midlands and further afield in a time of great need and personal sacrifice. And for that, we thank you. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you all and your achievements. I'm now going to introduce Professor Ian Blair, who is the Pro Vice Chancellor and mm -hmm. Executive Dean of the Faculty of Health, Education and Life Sciences. Mm -hmm. Professor Blair. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Carl. Um, good afternoon, everyone. My name, as Carl has already said, is Professor Ian Blair, and I'm Pro Vice Chancellor and Executive Dean of the Faculty of Health, Education and Life Sciences. I'd like to welcome all our graduates, their families and friends, and to the university staff to this celebration of your success. Let me start by saying congratulations and well done to each and every one of you. For many of you, you may be in the early stages of your nursing and midwifery careers. 
For others, you may have undertaken a post-qualifying course, which has enhanced your professional expertise. Whatever your level of study and chosen career, you've really achieved something very special and this needs to be celebrated. I am pleased that you chose Birmingham City University and especially the School of Nursing and Midwifery, which aspires to lead nursing and midwifery education. Mm -hmm. Its mission is to be the first choice for students, apprentices, colleagues and employers within Birmingham, across the West Midlands, nationally and globally. Would not be anywhere else. Really. The school is so that is it. Our little virtual graduation is over. Sounds like we're going to have one next year. But hopefully there will be a day. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, thanks everyone for tuning in. Thanks as always for following my journey. And here's to next time.